Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to utilize a Kartra opt-in forum. This is actually the third and final video of this specific process. The first one talked about creating the squeeze page. The second one was going to be creating the thank you page. And this is the opt-in form, which pretty much connects point A with point B, is also going to allow you to generate leads and of course send out some emails if you want to do that. And lastly, before we begin, don't forget that Kartra comes with a two-week trial. I will put a link in the description in case you want to follow along or just test them out. So where I got to where I am, we're going to be under my forms, creating a new one, and here we are. So this is where we get to edit around our form and how it looks. Now, in my opinion, I do not like using the first name unless maybe you're sending people to a webinar or maybe like obviously if you have a physical product, you need their address or something that's going to be very important. If you only need an email like for an ebook, it could be for a cheat sheet, a free video training. I personally just love using email. So the less that someone has to enter, the higher the conversions are naturally going to be. Now, imagine if we had first name, last name, email, we had state, we had city, we had zip code, we had phone number, we had all these things. You're overall conversions are going to decrease significantly just because there's so many steps for someone to walk through. So the less steps, the higher the conversions. Okay. So what we can also do, I like clicking on edit. And for the placeholder, I like putting, oh, I already have it there. Enter your best email. Okay. Not your spam email, not your email that you're never going to open. Enter your best or primary or favorite. It's really going to be up to you. I like adding that in. It's hard to say how much extra that's going to increase your conversions, but it's not going to hurt. Let's click on save. And now that we have that, since this section is done, let's click on save. Let's go to save and next. Okay, so confirmation, single opt-in, your leads will only fill in the form to be subscribed without confirming the email address or double opt-in where they're going to have to confirm. This, you're going to get a, uh, a much higher opt-in rate, but this are going to be much higher quality because you know everyone that has signed up has gone to the email, they know it's a legit one, and they've clicked on it. So that's really going to be up to you. I prefer single opt-in either way. Let's click on save. And of course, this is why we have our success page. This is the reason why I created the thank you page because you need somewhere to send them when they're done. So if we go to Kartra page, now we can select our thank you page. And just like that, there it is. Let's click on save and save and next. So welcome. Do we want to send them a welcome message? I do believe so. So let's click on change and let's send a welcome email. We're going to have our details there. Kartra mail. Sure. Let's click on save. And now we have our first welcome message. So kind of let me give you a good idea of what I like putting in my welcome message. Something like for a subject line could be, okay, I like putting a call to action in the first uh, subject line in terms of when it's going to be coming for me. The fact that it says click here is a, a call to action. So that can technically increase your conversions. Plus when you put the fact that you're going to be giving away bonuses, that can help as well. In case you missed my previous video, when it comes to creating your thank you page, I talked about creating a video that tells them exactly what's going to happen. On that page, they get to download their free ebook or free lead magnet, whatever it was. But if they were going to check their email, they're also going to get some special bonuses. So this is where you can actually hand those out to them. Aside from that, I'm going to quickly put a template down below that you can utilize for your first welcome email in case you need help with that. All right, so here's a very quick template that you can utilize and I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, not only did I want to kind of show you how this is done, but at least give you some guidance so that you can utilize them for your first email because it's a very important one. Obviously, they they opted in, they have they like what you had to offer, and you get to give them a little bit more value. So the first section is going to be welcoming them and letting them know why are they getting this email. I kid you not, there's been plenty of times just from doing email marketing where someone will opt in and they'll forget. Maybe they don't check their inbox right away. Way. Maybe they don't recognize your name because they have just a hundred other emails in there. And maybe they click on the spam button, which is like the worst thing they can do. So when you welcome them, let them know why they are getting this email. You are getting this because you chose to get instant access to my free ebook called How to Grow Your Business Without Utilizing Paid Ads. And they're like, oh, okay, now I remember, okay? Aside from that, and next, we're going to give them the link for the bonuses. So you talked about if they opened up this email, you're going to have plenty of bonuses for them. So you can say, as I promised, here are the unannounced bonuses that you're also going to be getting. And of course, you know, you could put a link. This is where you're going to link to it with the link button right here. That's going to go to this specific page. Now, aside from that, 
you're going to be getting emails from me about every two to three days or so. Okay. It's good to kind of give those guidelines when getting started. For example, if you're emailing every single day and you let them know that, then there's kind of no reason for them to complain and stick around if they don't like it. Right. It's like, Hey, I'm going to be emailing you every day. And if they expect that, they expect that. But if you say like, Hey, I'm going to be emailing you once a month and then you start doing daily, it's going to be some incongruence. They're not going to like that. So just let them know how often you're going to be getting mails from you just to kind to set the uh, the standards and the guidelines for when they should be hearing from you. I noticed you get a lot less complaints that way anyway, so something to keep in mind. Last but not least, almost last, we have benefits, benefits, benefits. What are they going to be hearing about from future emails from you, whether it's going to be automated emails like follow-ups or whether it's just going to be broadcast? talk about what's going to be in it for them. For example, you could talk about a lot of the valuable videos you've done, maybe training. It could be articles. You have more free bonuses. You have a great recommendation. You have a free training webinar. You have a free Facebook group coming up. Whatever it is, anything that's going to say like, hmm, I really like that. I think I'm going to start opening more of this person's emails. Literally, I know it sounds cheesy, but pretty much giving them what they're looking for. The more you can do that, the more interest you're going to peak, and the higher the chances are of them opening up your emails in the future. Of course, you can sign off like I'll talk to you soon. And a cliffhanger, this is optional if you want it. Oh, by the way, make sure you check out my next email or my next broadcast. I'm going to be telling you how to X, Y, Z, whatever it's going to be. Like I said, that's optional. That's better if you're going to be doing more follow-up messages. If you're just going to be doing straight broadcasts after that, it's going to kind of be hard to do that depending on when they sign up. But either way, let's just save that. And let's go to save and next. So automations, this is a lot of the, the funky stuff that Kartra offers. And by funky, I mean awesome. There's, it's just, it's so complex in a great way. There's so many great things that you can utilize. Like I said, I'll do a separate video to talk more about these differently. The important thing here you want to do is subscribe to a list. So what you can do is change, click on yes. And if you don't have a list yet, which I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you don't, you can just click on create new list. So whatever you want to call it, opt-in list, your list, whatever it's going to be. And of course, list for Marketing Island, it says public description of this list. And of course, what your users will see when they want to unsubscribe. So it's a good idea to kind of give them a little description so they also know where they're coming from. So instead of hitting the spam, they can just unsubscribe because at least if they connect where they're getting these emails from, it's going to be better that way. So let's click on create. And let's click on add. And just like that, so whenever they subscribe, they get added to this list. Perfect. And once again, sequences and automations, this is a little bit more advanced if you want to kind of mess around with that in a separate way of doing it. I just want to make sure that you can at least collect leads, have them subscribe to a list, have them sent out an immediate email, and then of course you can go from there. So let's click on save and next. And it says, I will use the Kartra form in another Kartra asset, or I will embed the form in a third party page. So we want to utilize this one because remember, if you've seen the previous videos, we already have a squeeze page. So let's click on save and save the next. And just like that, the form is now available for you in Kartra pages and videos. So I'm going to go back to my pages where I originally created a squeeze page. All right, so here I am, and probably one of the final steps is going to be the Kartra landing page editor. I am editing the original landing page because as you'll see, it's a placeholder. And now that we have this, we can edit it. So if I hover over this and click on this edit style button, what I can do is select the opt-in form that we just created. Or excuse me, I take that back. I created in the previous video. So let's click on apply. And good. So it just has this random email here. That goes away if I open it up in a new tab. But either way, what I want to do is save progress. Great. And now I'm just going to publish live. So let's get the page link. And what I'm going to do is open it up in a new incognito window just to show you like that email is going to be gone. So let me copy this and give me one sec. And so there we have it, how to double your sales without using paid ads. It's a free ebook, download reels, and without doing daily live. So let me put in a random email. So just a test email at AOL.com. It's a random one. So when I click on submit now, that means I'm going to be getting that lead. That is going to get the notification email. And of course, last but not least, we're going to be taken to the thank you page. Let's click on submit now. And there we have it. Congratulations. Please watch the video for the next important steps. Your download is also below. That's where they can download it. That's where they can watch the video of me or at least you saying to check their inbox where you have more bonuses for them. So, and that wraps it up when it comes to creating a landing page slash squeeze page. 
directing people to a thank you page, and of course, opting in so you can get them on your list and sending an email. I hope you got some value out of that three-part series. As always, if you haven't gotten the test out Kartra, I will put a link down below. They come with a 14-day trial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below as always. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.